What's up everybody, Liam Clisham here for another awesome Redshift tutorial. This week is just a really quick, quick tip. It's like a super quick tip. Um, it's how to use the switch node and use multiple shaders inside of a single material so you can have multiple objects all using that single material and switching between them based on object ID. So with that said, let's just jump into it. So inside Sima 4D, it looks pretty plain Jane right now, doesn't it? We've got four spheres set up here and just one material. So like magic, I'm gonna turn all these into different colors based on this one material. So let's go ahead and select all these, go to function, apply, boom, all different colors. And the way that's working is you'll see on each of these spheres, I've got these object tags. And if we go into object ID, it says multiple right there. And that's because each one of these has its own object ID number. If we go into our shader graph, what I've done is set up this shader switch. So right in here, it's pulling in the user data. And what that means is it's pulling in the data from here. So this user data of object ID 0, 1, 2, 3. And then it pipes it into the switch saying, OK, I want the shader info from this port here and then this one here and this one here to correlate with these here. So what that means is you can set up one material to drive a bunch of different things really easily and really quickly. So if I change this now to one, I'll go to that green, two to blue, three to that kind of like fuchsia color, and four, there's nothing there. So it's just going to go to white. So I'll reset this back down to zero. and say you want to do some revisions for a client and you want to leave everything the same but change this one here and we'll say mm, kind of like a blue a different kind of blue and then the client says well i like this blue now and then i don't really want this blue anymore so can we change that so you just come in here and i think the blue one is three we'll select this go up go back down to zero and very quickly you can start to iterate and change things around. It's really awesome. It's a little bit like magic. That's it for this week's tutorial. I told you it was going to be super fast, super easy. If you have any questions, every Thursday we do Redshift live. You can come hang out. We do a live stream where you can just ask Q&As. I go over tutorials that I've gone over before if you have any questions about those and really just kind of hang out and see what we can do inside of Redshift. Also, feel free to leave a comment below or find me anywhere on the internet. Just do a quick search for 531. Shoot me an email. We can communicate that way too. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon. Thanks.